Welcome to the LiveView Studio version 1.30 demo. We're excited to showcase some powerful new features that enhance your live production experience. So let's dive in. Our first major feature is the new transition block. Located between the preview and program channels, it provides seamless control over transitions. Now, every click on an input loads it into the preview channel. To take it live, choose from our pre-configured transitions, like the one second fade. Now, if I select another clip to load into the preview channel, select my left to right swipe, you'll see it swipes that clip onto air. Creating stingers or graphic transitions is also now an easy thing to add into your projects. Simply upload your custom graphic, preview, and save it for quick and easy use in your live program. It automatically reads the duration of the transition, and when you press save, we automatically build the stinger transition for you. So now, if I select anything to put in my preview channel and select that stinger transition I just built, as you see, very quick to build, very easy to use. LiveView Studio now takes graphics integration to the next level. You can now load graphics in the preview channel, position them as you'd like, and seamlessly take them on air with your chosen transitions. So not only does the preview and program logic apply to live sources, but we can also now load graphics here in the preview channel as well. I can preview as to how they're going to look on my live program for my Facebook Live graphic on the top left, and I put my LiveView Sports graphic in the bottom right and reposition so it can be seen better if I press my fade button, it will automatically take those graphics through the program with any of the transitions that I choose. So that's just a simple dissolve. Now, if I wanna get rid of those graphics, I will deselect them on the preview. And if you see me hit the fade button here, it's faded those off air. So the transition block applies to live sources, clips, graphics, whatever you want and gives operators pinpoint control of their program output using preview program logic here in the UI. And now introducing media player channels, a game changer for playing out clips seamlessly. Before you would upload clips one by one and each of those clips would take up an input within the production layers. Now we can use player channels to play back to back clips. The new media bin allows for easy clip management letting you add clips to your show on the fly. So we've actually seen some of the clips that we've been using. We've used two player channels during the demo so far, an X channel and a Y channel, but I can now open the new media bin. So you see the media bin here allows me to see and manage all of my clips during the show. If you want to add a clip to the media bin, you click on the plus sign and upload videos and it brings you to your directory to choose your clip. Or you can stream directly from Amazon S3. So very simple to get clips into your media bin. Then if I wanna play any of these clips, I simply select the clip I wanna use. So we use the sunset clip over the ocean, drag it into my Y channel. Now, if I select my Y channel, you see the clip pop in the preview, and then I could take it to air with any of my transitions. Now, if I want to come back to the helicopter shot of the city directly after this, loaded in another channel in this scenario, we can then take that on air using the transition buttons in the middle. So there's now a lot of flexibility into playing media out during your live show. And in tandem with the transition block, it gives you a very powerful production tool set and a great look to your on-air program feed. So not only do we have media player channels available, but we also added some features to capitalize on that, such as playlists. LiveView Studio version 1.30 brings playlists into the forefront creating playlists from your clips, naming them and organizing them in your playlist bin. So in my media bin, if I select these five clips, I can say that I want to create a playlist. In this case, I'll name this Matt's playlist. When I create that playlist, it dumps into my playlist bin. So the focus changes in the media bin from clips to playlists. And now if I take Matt's playlist and dump it into the channel, then double click on it, you'll see the playlist will populate the preview channel. I'll also get a control module here within the media bin. So if I want to preview that playlist, I can simply click on any of the clips and you'll see what's playing on the preview channel. And then if I find a shot that I want to roll through to air, I can simply hit the transition button and take that playlist on air. 
So now with our hotkey integration, you can easily create complex scenes and assign hotkeys to load them directly into the program with predefined transitions. Whether using a keyboard or an external device like a Stream Deck, operators now have full control of the live program output during the show. So in our three box template here, I want to include one clip, our guest, and one live source. I also want to add a Facebook Live graphic to that, and I'll move that into the bottom right hand corner. Now I want to apply a hotkey to take this pretty complex scene on air. I can say I want not only for this scene to be loaded, but I want to go directly to program with it. And I want to use that transition we made earlier. So now instead of having to build all this in preview and take it through to air with the transition block, now we've created a hotkey which loads all this material and takes it directly to program with the transition that I identified earlier. And if I hit the two key on my keyboard, you see that it's taken it directly through to air. So now you can assign these hotkeys to a stream deck or a third party device and have full control over your show. LiveView Studio version 1.30 is a game changer, combining the legacy functionality with new features like transition block and hockey integration. With enhanced graphics, seamless transitions, and powerful media management, it puts full control of your live program output at your fingertips. So upgrade now and elevate your live production experience with LiveView Studio version 1.30.